Hello everybody, John D here, and I've got a, quite a quick video to show you here. It's, it's a low down, but it's a quick down, if you like. Um, and it's around Power Apps and Power Automate. Now, I've actually experienced this for the sort of second time uh, in the last month, so I don't know if this is becoming a little bit more popular with it or more frequent with people, but it's when you go into Power Apps or Power Automate and it tends to uh, just fail to open up or comes up saying the service is right down right now. Um, and also when you run Office 365 tool, sometimes the app just doesn't behave well, it gets sluggish, very, very slow. And there's a golden solution to fixing this. So if you ever have your Power Apps fail to load or if Power Automate fails to load, Office 365 experiences that are sluggish, slow, or sort of coming up really wrong, there's a really golden simple rule and it's something you should try first before anything else. And that is clean your browser cache. So a quick control shift delete or an unclean, ideally your, your cache, your cookies, and your images and objects. You don't have to clean anything else. Those are the three ones. And, and those cleaned, perfectly fine. Let me give you a quick demonstration of this because my Power Apps is actually at the moment telling me the service uh, is not available right now. And I want to show you, show you how to get around that. Okay, so I've, I'm going to try going into Power Apps directly, which is through this Power Apps uh, through the list there. And it seems to get to the dashboard quite fine. If I want to create a brand new one from blank, give it a name, let's call it hello, and do it for a tablet. First of all, you get this box with nothing in it and a purple button. If you click, uh, and you keep clicking, eventually you'll see the actual message pop up. And, and the message says, there's a problem with Power App Studio right now, please try again later. So how to get around that? Okay, so, and, and again, just a, a, what I was going to show as well is that if I launch that from uh, a SharePoint site, um, so if I go into SharePoint, I actually tried this for a, a video that I'm building, and I tried to go via the customized form. So it's not just a freak. Um, if I try it through here as well, I'm getting the same message. There's a problem with Power App Studio right now. Please try again later. The problem is it's kind of cached information that's stored in your browser that's causing the problem. And in addition to that, it's sort of issues with uh, cookies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my uh, Control Shift and Delete. So in most browsers now, Control Shift Delete is the quickest way to go in and clear your cache, etc. And I'm going to clear. I, I I don't keep my information for a long time anyway. So I'm going to clear all the browsing history, all the cookies, even the cached images and files. I'm going to clear the whole lot. Okay, brilliant. Okay, and what I'll do is I'm going to shut the browser down completely. Very very important. And then I'm going to launch it from scratch. Google Chrome. As you do. Com. Okay, so I'm now going to go back into Power Apps from here. Create and, and create a Canvas app from blank. Could give it a name, hello. Click create. And there you go, solved it. Straightforward. Look at that. So, if you ever get an issue like that with uh, again Power Automate, I've had that a couple of times. Some very weird, quirky things. If you get any kind of quirkiness with some of these services, it's normally uh, it's quite a good thing. First of all, is to clear your end of it, clear your conscience, if you like, clear your cache browser, start with a brand new browser, try again, and and you'll find that in, on many occasions like this one, it resolves the problem. Okay, brilliant. So I hope that's helped you in some way. Um, again, you, you tend to find that you are working with um, the browser for pretty much most, of, if not all, the functionality in Office 365. It is supposed to be a mobile-first environment, so everything is pushed down. So it relies on your browser to be clean and up-to-date in order for it to work cleanly with Office 365. If you get any kind of uh, issues, delays, certain problems, go crawl, clean your cache first, clean your browser, and try again. Okay, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you like this video, if it's been useful, please, please click subscribe. I do lots of tips and tricks and bug fixes uh, every now and again when I can. Um, 
without upsetting Microsoft, of course. Um, and, and if you want to get any information, if you have any suggestions and requests, anything you'd like me to do, please send me uh, a little comment in my social media and I'll get back to you and I'll, I'll do what I can to fulfill those needs. Stay safe, everyone, and stay indoors. Stay safe. Have fun.